Welcome back guys, this is Oasis back with another video on the channel and today we're going to talk about a Visual Studio Code because I had a question on YouTube, actually on Facebook and someone asked me that what is the best text editor for developing a website and my favorite web development text editor is Visual Studio Code so as you can see on the screen this is a Visual Studio Code first of all let me show you where you can download it the website is code.com visualstudio.com and it's just opening all right so this text editor is available for linux mac and windows and it's open source so now i have actually downloaded and installed visual studio code and these are the few of my favorite extensions which are going to help you to improve your process of developing website so to talk about these extensions i need to open a project folder so we'll go to the file menu and I'm going to click on open folder and here I will just select training and let's just say CSS and it will open all the files available in that folder and as you can see here I have a uh, nice icons before the text file name and uh, I've got a nice folder icon here as well now to look at the extension we'll click on this extension button here the shortcut key is Control shift x so the first extension I have is called a beautify and I have a bunch of other extensions. So we'll talk about all of these extensions. Now the first extension, Beautify, basically it ident your code properly and automatically. Now to give you a demo for that, I'm just gonna type another div element and then I'm going to, okay. Now let's just say that I wanna ident this properly. Instead of doing that manually by going my taking my cursor here and pressing tab, Instead of that, I'm actually going to just save the file. Let's press Ctrl S or we can go to the file menu and I'm gonna click on save. Now as you can see the identification happened automatically. I just saved the file. All right, so this is a really great uh, extension if you write a lot of HTML. Obviously HTML is the first requirement for developing any kind of website. Now the second one I have is a bootstrap for and font awesome snippet. Now let's just say I will just delete all the code here. Now let's say I want to type this uh, doc type of uh, HTML and then in HTML tag and a body tag and a head tag. And I want to add all of those bootstrap requirements such as you need a CSS file for bootstrap, you need a jQuery, you need a JavaScript bootstrap file. So to add all that could be hard, right? But what I can do here, I will just type B4 and it brings up this bootstrap for snippet and as you can see here we have a bs4 dash dollar this is a command if i type that and press enter it will automatically add that master template code for us so i'll just type enter here and there we go so our template is set up for using bootstrap so bootstrap we're taking from uh, cdn version which is basically the online uh, version where they host this bootstrap main.css file Right, how cool is that? I'm going to type Control Z to bring my code back. And next extension, we have this uh, Dracula theme. Well, you can see how nice my text look, the background is pretty nice and it's easy on your eyes as well. To get this kind of thing, you need to install this Dracula theme and a Dracula official theme. So, uh, if you go to extension, this is a text field here. So if I type Dracula, and then it will search for all of the Dracula themes or any kind of extension which has this Dracula name. So this is how you can install extension as well. I'm pretty sure you'll be fine uh, to have install this extension. Just simply click on install and reload the uh, Visual Script code and it will automatically set up for you. Now we'll just go back and I'll show you how you can change the theme once you install a Dracula theme. So if you go to view and then click on command palette and here we'll just type theme. And here we have the options for prefer color team and prefer file icon team. So I'll just click on the prefer color team. And here I have all the teams installed in the system in Visual Studio Code. So as you can see, I've currently selected this dark Dracula team, which is, I think looks nicer and pretty, pretty good team. Next we have guides extension. Guides are basically these lines, as you can see here, these are the lines, so after you add your any of your element of HTML, it will basically draw a line, which looks nicer. Next, I have this HTML snippet. 
Well, HTML snippet is a really good extension and it's, it's, you must have this if you develop websites. All right, so what it does basically, if let's say I wanna type H1 uh, heading in my website, right? So what I will do, I'll type H1 and then I'll type the text and then I will close the H1 tag. But instead of just doing all that, I can simply type H1 and it will bring up the snippet from HTML snippet extension. And I will simply type enter here. And as you can see, we have the H1 opening tag and H1 closing tag, which is easier, right? So you don't have to open and close the tag. It automatically does that for you, which is going to help you to develop a website a lot faster. So I'll just type here, hello world, easy done. Right now, we need to work on a CSS and JavaScript as well. So I have another extension called JS-CSS-HTML formatter. So we'll go to CSS file and I'll just delete this H1 hat, um, style. So I'll type H1 again and then I will just uh, open the code block. And here I will just say background color. And I'll just type here orange or any color you want to choose. Right now, as you can see that it's not been ident uh, formatted properly. Now, if I save this file, it, pay attention here. I save the file. It's been formatted automatically for us. And this is coming from this uh, JS CSS HTML formatter extension. It works on a JavaScript as well. This is great. Next extension is uh, pretty much self-explanatory live HTML preview. So let's say if I open this HTML file into a browser and I'll make a change here. So it will basically show you the live changes happening into your code and it, that will represent on your HTML document as well. We have another extension open in browser. So if I go to this Explorer in um, Visual Studio Code by clicking here. Now, if you want to open this HTML file, you will right click on it. And then first of all, you will go reveal in Explorer and then you will double click on the file to open into the browser. But with the help of that extension, you can simply go and open in a browser. If you click here, it will open this index file into the browser. So you don't have to go to your Windows Explorer. Next extension I have is the path autocomplete. This is the compulsory extension that you need. So let's just say, uh, I'm gonna go and I have this asset folder, but I don't have any image here. But what we can do here, I'm gonna start this image tag. So I type image tag and we'll do it source and here I will just type slash and there you go. So this drop down menu is coming because of this path autocomplete extension. So if I tap slash and it will automatically give me all the folders I have available in that uh, in that actually in that project. So as you can see here, this is our main project folder and have this uh, assets folder. So if I click here, it will automatically give me the files I have available in the assets folder. Right now I don't have any files, but if I had, it will show up here. So you don't have to remember the path. So you can simply use that extension. This is great. Now, these are my favorite extensions for web development. If you look at this Scala, Scala is another programming language, uh, works on JVM, so don't worry about this one. The last extension I wanna say is a visual uh, VS Code icons, which basically gives you a bit of better look in your Visual Studio Code Explorer. So you have these icons. So all of these icons coming from this extension. So you can use it and customize your uh, Visual Studio Code. Now, if you are using Visual Studio Code and if you have your favorite extension, please share them in the comments below so I can look at them as well. All right, guys, so uh, this was my quick uh, extension review, or you can call it my favorite extensions for Visual Studio Code. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Chase.